Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another Marvel's Avengers gear guide video. And in this video, I'm featuring my main hero, Hawkeye. And what? Who pushed that thing over there? What is this? Yo, was that a ghost? Oh my goodness. It must be the ghost of Ronan. Anyways, we're going to go over his technical power gear set and showcase to you what's included in his technical power gear set and my opinion on what the best gear piece is from that set and also show you where to get them. So, and that thing's moving again. What is happening here? Yo, Scarlet Witch or Doctor Strange on this helicarrier? Jeez. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead into the gear. So we're going to start off with the best piece that you can get from this gear set and that is the Eagles kit. And also keep this in mind, this technical power gear set is also known as an Eagle set. So with all the gear pieces you get for Hawkeye from this gear set, they all have the word Eagle on them. That's why I kind of call it the Eagle set. So this one right here is the Eagles kit, Hunter overcharge, activating Hunter's arrow, basically gives you an instant overcharge. Then we have a rampant boon, which gives you a 25% increased critical attack chance while overcharged. So again, with this piece right here, if you've been playing this game for such a long time, you guys are probably aware that the second perk is actually what this was. It will give you an extra Nightstorm arrow charge. So I personally use the old one because for my Nightstorm build especially, this is what I would use, the old Eagles kit. But with the recent updates, this is the new perk, Rampant Boon, 25% increased critical chance while overcharge. So when you do activate your Hunter's Arrow, you'll instantly go into an overcharge state, and then you'll be able to do a 25% increased critical attack chance on like damage-wise onto your enemies. And then we have Hunter Multiplier, increases the number of targets of Hunter's Arrow that can hit by three. So usually it's two, but this can multiply and it will be three. So really good one here. This is probably the best piece you can get within the technical power set for Hawkeye. So I highly recommend getting this if you don't have it. And it definitely works well with either any of your builds. So let's go ahead to the defensive piece. And then also keep in mind, this is just going over all the gear pieces in the technical power set. If you guys want to look at my Hawkeye build videos, I will leave a link to, in the description below to any of them. Hawkeye is one of my main heroes, so I do have some pretty good build videos for him that can, you know, do some crazy damage amongst bosses and also other, you know, contents of the game. The next one is the defensive piece. This can roll with resilience, resolve, intensity. You guys can see the perks right here. This is something I don't personally use. I like using like the Discordant Elite Raid piece that I can get with either the Split Shot Multiplier or the Nightstorm Arrow perk. But from this gear set, this is what you can get. Defensive piece. The first perk is probably the best one right here. Increase the amount of willpower recovered from Recovery Arrow and Nanite Shield. Damage reduction by 20%. So, pretty good recovery perk right there. The next one is the range piece. I don't even use this at all. But like I said in my previous videos, if you are a collector that likes farming for gear and just adding it to your locker or to your collection, these are all the pieces that you can get within this gear set. So Eagle's Arrowhead, Precision Intensity Proficiency, this can come with different status effects and also different range attacks. Here are the perks, similar to Kate Bishop's, you know, range piece, because how you can increase the firing speed of certain range attacks and then also increases damage stun and status amount by 20%. So very similar to Kate Bishop's, you know, range piece. And then the next one is the melee piece. Resilience, Proficiency, and Might. This is probably the worst thing unless you're rocking like an intrinsic Hawkeye build. But I'm pretty sure you guys are not doing that. Even if you're doing a melee build, I highly don't recommend this either. 
probably for an intrinsic Hawkeye build, you guys might want to try this. But this can also roll with different status effects and it also can come with split shot arrow as well on the second perk. But this can only come with resilience, proficiency, and might. So again, when I'm explaining to you guys this gear set especially, there is no precision and valor on the melee slot. There's actually no valor on any of these slots except the heroic piece. And for a Hawkeye, you want to make sure you do get Precision, Resolve, Valor, or Precision, Valor if you're going with the range build. So these are the gear pieces featured in the technical power set for my main man, my homie, Hawkeye. You guys already seen the videos. You guys seen how much damage I do with them. So that's, you know, all the gear pieces you can get within that gear set. And also, again, it's known as the Eagle set as well. And where to get them? Let's go to the war table. Oh, that thing went back over there anyways. <laughs> Someone was moving that around. So let's go ahead. Good to see Four places you can get any of these type of pieces. And hopefully you do land the heroic piece because that is the best piece out of the gear set. So we'll go first, do you guys know the technical power set? You can either farm the Last of Ender Standing mission. You have a chance to get a legendary version or an exotic version at the end once you complete this. It does have a lot of floors to this mission, so it does take a while to, you know, complete. Or you go to your objectives. There are daily vaults that happen. You can get a legendary version of those exotic gear pieces I've just shown you. Or you can run the weekly of vaults. The weekly of vaults give you the opportunity to get two legendary or exotic pieces from the technical power set. So that can be a range and a defensive piece, or let's say a melee, a melee and heroic piece. So you can, you can get you know at least two legendary or exotic pieces from the weekly elite vault missions. And sometimes there's a chance where you might even get three when you complete the mission itself. And then the next one is the Red Room Takeover event. So the Red Room Takeover event will give you an exotic version of those gear pieces that I've just shown you. And anytime you complete the objective, you can get it. And then it also can come from the main objective. So once you complete the main objective, you'll get an exotic gear piece from the technical power set for all of your heroes. And again, this does drop exotic, so don't worry about this legendary symbol. So it will be exotic technical power gear set drops. So that was the gear. I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, gear video featuring Hawkeye and what kind of gear you can get within the technical power gear set. And make sure you show, show your support by hitting that like and subscribe button. We're going to be doing more gear videos based on other gear sets as well in the future. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, I'm out. You guys take care. Peace.